Welcome to Showbiz Couple, Matt and Emma Willis, which is handy uh, because that's the title of the new show, which sees singletons go on dates with people that they can't actually see. The drama is already kicking off. I definitely feel a very strong connection with you. Good, good. What about um, children? OK. Should we get into it? Yeah. Um, I feel like when I, I do meet someone, it's more important to me that I have a really good foundation with husband and wife. Um, and I think that's important. If I didn't have children, I think I'd be OK. What about you? Um, yeah. But I've always thought that I would have my own child. Ooh, he wants them. It's a bit <laughs> early, is it? No, they haven't even bloomed to see each other. I know, other. but that's the TV show, Kay. That's what it's about. Is it? Yes. I mean, come on, Grace. That's a bit early, is it? No, you're not going to... No, no, I... Mm. I you, you know, I just said, first day, she moves in. Mm. Right. Never <laughs> left. Love that for us. <laughs> Third day in, I was like, listen, do you want them? She does. I personally... Do you know what my so thing So you're is? in this situation? Yeah, but my person... Well, I'll probably have them anyway, but my thing is, <laughs> you know when you go to an airport and you're all excited for your holiday, you're about to board the plane, I would like to see one couple that has children that's having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> They're arguing, the kids are crying, they've got stuff coming out their ear. There's no peace. Yeah. And I enjoy peace. But yeah. you are only 24. <laughs> so true. Yeah, yeah you yeah. are only 24. But I do. Did I you do say agree. 24? 24? What 24? <laughs> yeah. 24? I do. That's, think... I was about your age when I had my yeah. kids, though. Were you? Was oh that 20? God. I think I'm um, pregnant at 25. I think I had him when I was 25. Look how young I oh, was. Oh my oh. god! Oh my god! god. That's when you were young. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no Botox in sight there. <laughs> Feel, I mean, did you feel ready for it at 24? I was, I was really, I was really ready. Like, it was a really conscious decision. Um, and we were trying for a baby. I think, because I'd started work at such a young age, for me, I felt like I was yeah. at that point in my life. And mm. Wayne's, like, nine years older than me, so he was ready. And so, and I always knew I wanted to be a young mum, always. I never wanted a career without a family. Like, I wanted both. Um, but when I meet people at the age when I have my kids, I'm like... It is so young. Yeah. Like, I think if any of my friends uh, had said the same, oh, I'm pregnant when they were 24, we'd have all been like, what are you going to do? But yeah. when it was me, everyone just kind of went, oh, yeah, OK, cool. Yeah. You know, so I, I, and I, yeah. I do think it, it is young, um, but I don't regret it. But I also think, like, when I, I hear do. someone at yeah. 24 talking about kids, I'm like, oh, God, you've yeah. got ages. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think it's gonna really important, it, though, though to, to... I think it's important to find out early. If you are just at an age where you're having a good time and hooking up and all of that, of course you're not going to say, mm. do, do you want children, unless it's just a conversation. But the amount of... And you know me with my love of American, particularly with American reality, the amount of things like 90-day um, fiancé and those things that I watch, that they are in pursuit of a fiance, obviously, title of the show, and then, then a marriage. And the person will say, I don't want children. They will continue to go ahead with the marriage and then be fuming when that person doesn't change their mind. It's fundamental to that relationship. If you are in a position where you see that person as the one, whether or not that So you're saying that wants, Grace should break up from a girlfriend? Once Here children. We go. No, <laughs> no, I'm not. Because she's not saying she absolutely doesn't. She just doesn't want to have them at the airport. Yeah. Well, of course. <laughs> Like, so where, where are you with this? I think oh, I am young and I probably will end up having them and I'm sure I'll love my own. We can hope. <laughs> but, um, they can hope. Yeah they, yeah, they can hope. But I think it's just something... If you're someone that's really, really adamant that you don't want kids and you know that for a fact, that's something you probably should yeah. ask someone and before you go too far down the line and then your feelings are hurt and then you've got to break up. And it's all right not to... I used to... Honestly, I really... If you looked at past episodes of this show, please don't, but if you did, <laughs> um, where I would think it was odd. You know, I, I just couldn't understand people who didn't want children. And now I completely understand it. I wouldn't swap my two and my step for the absolute world. 
But what no one prepares you for is it's not those early stages at the airport that's the thing. It's the emotional attachment to these children who yeah. every step, every job they don't get, every illness they get, every day that they get in a car, every day. It's the agony of how much you love them and worry about them, you know, and yet I see my childless friends like Carol McGiffin just living life large with <laughs> any worries whatsoever, you know. You're really so, selling parenthood to great I am selling yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. really, really I want really to swap it for the stuff. world and it's wonderful. Yeah. But it is a big, it is a big, huge decision. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And not having kids should be a very legitimate choice that, yeah. that people, you know, sort of take. And... Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll follow this blow by blow, Grace, as the weeks go on. You'll be delighted to know. As the actress said. <laughs>